Hello everyone and welcome back to the last installment of Number Systems Solve Problems. In this session, we will observe a couple of more interesting solved problems on number systems. So, without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the outcome of today's session, today, at first, we will observe three solved problems on determining the base. Then we will observe another solved problem on representing a decimal number in a different number system. Consider this question. Determine the base of the number systems from the followings. So, we have been provided some equations and we are supposed to determine the basis accordingly. So, let's try to solve this. Let's begin with the first one. So, the equation is 27 plus 54 equals 80. Well, it's clearly not decimal because if it had been in decimal, then 27 plus 54 would have resulted in 81, not 80. Right? Since we don't know the base, let's assume these are of base B. Let's now convert all of them into decimal because decimal is the number system we are very much familiar with. Also, in this equation, we are supposed to perform addition and comparison of the left and the right hand sides, which we the humans do best in decimal, don't we? Let's begin with 2, 7 first. So, we will take the digits 2 and 7. Now, the base is B, so the respective place values are B raised to the power 0 and B raised to the power 1. Performing the same on 5, 4 base B, we obtain 5 into B raised to the power 1 plus 4 into B raised to the power 0. Now, let's do the same for 8, 0 base B. So, we will end up obtaining 8 into B raised to the power 1 plus 0 into B raised to the power 0. Now, this will result in 2B plus 7. Because 2 into b raised to the power 1 is 2b and 7 into b raised to the power 0 is actually 7 times 1, which is 7. Similarly, this one will be 5b plus 4. Now, this will be 8b because 0 into b raised to the power 0 is 0. Now, 2b plus 5b will give us 7b and 4 plus 7 is 11. So, we can state 7b plus 11 is 8b. Now, subtracting 7b from both the sides, we obtain the value of b is 11. So, 27 plus 54 results in 80 if they are the digits of a base 11 number system. Let's now observe the second equation. Roots of m squared minus 1, 1 m plus 2, 2 equals to 0 are 3 and 6. Basically, the equation and the roots are given. We will try to determine the base. So, let's solve it. Now, if you all notice, this is a quadratic equation, isn't it? Now, we all know for a generic quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. The product of the roots can be determined by dividing c by a, that is the coefficient of x squared. And the sum of the roots is minus b by a, where b is the coefficient of x and a happens to be the coefficient of x squared. Now, this one, that is m squared minus 1, 1 into m plus 2, 2 equals 0 is also a quadratic equation. Since the roots are 3 and 6, let's use this formula, that is, the product of the roots is c by a. So, 3 into 6, that is, the multiplication of the roots of this equation will derive c, that is 2, 2 in this case, by a, that is 1. Because here, the coefficient of m squared is 1. Now, we don't really know the base, so let's assume that the base is b. Let's now convert this into decimal. So, 3 base b will be 3 into b raised to the power 0. Then, 6 base b will be 6 into b raised to the power 0. Now, this is actually 2, 2 base b, right? 
So 2 to base b will be 2 into b raised to the power 1 plus 2 into b raised to the power 0. And finally, 1 will be 1 into b raised to the power 0. Therefore, from this we can determine 3 into 6 equals 2b plus 2 as this one's gonna derive 2b plus 2 and now 1 into b raised to the power 0 is simply 1. So we can state 3 times 6 that is 18 equals 2b plus 2. Now if we subtract 2 from both the sides and then divide both the LHS and the RHS by 2, we will obtain the value of b as 8. Think about it. Subtracting 2 from both the sides will get 2b equals 16. Then dividing both the sides by 2, we will obtain b's value to be 16 by 2, that is 8. So for this, the base happens to be 8. Let's now move on to the third equation. Now this states 7, 7 by 7 equals 1, 1. Since we are unaware of the base, just like the previous ones, let's assume the base is b. Now, multiplying both the sides by 7 base b, we obtain 7 7 base b equals 1 1 base b into 7 base b. Let's convert this entire equation to decimal. So, 7 7 base b will derive 7 into b raised to the power 1 plus 7 into b raised to the power 0. Similarly, 1 1 base b will derive 1 into b raised to the power 1 plus 1 into b raised to the power 0. Finally, 7 base b in decimal will be 7 into b raised to the power 0. From this we can state 7b plus 7 and from this we can state b plus 1 at first into 7. Taking 7 common out of the left hand side, we obtain b plus 1 into 7. And the right hand side will remain the same. So we can state both the sides are having the same value b plus 1. Now this equation agrees with any value of b. So the value of b can be anything with just one exception. Can you guess it? Well, observe. From this 7 base b, we can state b must always be greater than 7. So, the base for this equation can be anything as long as it's greater than 7. So, with this, we are done with all these equations. Now, let's move on to the next question. Observe this question. Consider a number system where the range of values minus 3 to 3 are represented using the following symbols C, B, A, 0, 1, 2 and 3. So these are the symbols of the stated number system. Now we have to represent the decimal number 103 in this number system. Well, this is a very interesting question. So let's try to solve it. Now if we consider the range of minus 3 to 3, the actual values are minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2 and 3. And these values are represented by these symbols. So, minus 3 signifies the symbol C, minus 2 signifies the symbol B and minus 1 is A. And the rest is same. So, in other words, in this number system, the value of C is minus 3, the value of B is minus 2, and the value of a is minus 1. Now, this number system has 1, 2, 3 plus 4, that is 7 symbols. So, the base of it is clearly 7. Now, we are to represent this 103 of decimal in the number of base 7. So, how will we carry out the conversion? Well, it's simple we will take 103 and start performing the integer factorization by 7. Now, 7 times 15 is 105. So, here we will get the remainder as minus 2. Now, worry not. Our number system can represent the value of negative 2. 
and it's represented by the symbol B. So the obtained remainder would be B. Now 15 by 7 will give us the quotient 2 along with the remainder 1 because 2 times 7 is 14. So the remainder is supposed to be 1 only. Now 2 by 7 will produce the quotient 0 and the remainder will be 2. Now if we record the remainders in reverse, the representation of 103 in this number system becomes 21B. So while solving this, the only trick was to choose the quotient in such a way that the produced remainder is also covered by the symbol of the number system. So in this session, first we observed three solved problems on determining the basis. Then we observed another interesting problem on representing a decimal number in a whole new different number system. Alright people, that will be all for this session. I hope now the different number systems and the different types of numerical problems associated with them are clear to you now. In the next session, we will be introduced to the complementary number systems. So I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.